The Central Bank of Bhutan and Ripple Labs Incorporated have joined forces to develop a digital engultrum, which will go into trial testing in 2024. In addition, U.S. presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy has criticized SEC Chair Gary Gensler for his agency's excessive reach, expressing dissatisfaction with the current crypto regulatory framework. Moreover, the debut of Inherity, the world's first decentralized patent data backup and inheritance solution, on the XRP ledger is scheduled. Lastly, we'll look at the price timeline of XRP relative to Bitcoin. A policy brief outlined the main plan of action to develop Bhutan's economy into a thriving and self-sufficient one. The top bank is confident that the alternative currency, known as the digital engultrum or the central bank's digital currency, may indeed improve the lives of ordinary Bhutanese people. In 2021, the Bhutan CBDC project got underway, with Ripple Labs taking the lead. Since the project was commissioned in 2021, we have completed three separate phases, during which we have accomplished a tremendous amount. Ripple and the Bhutan Central Bank conducted a needs analysis to demonstrate how the digital engultrum will benefit the general public. The project proceeded with the CBDC design and scoping when this needs assessment phase was over, and then it worked on the technical design and proof of concept. The project will now begin a trial program in the coming year, with Ripple taking a leading role throughout. This subsequent stage is expected to last until 2026, based on the events planned. The duration of this subsequent stage is expected to last until 2026, as stated in the document outlining policies. The objectives of this pilot program and the overall goal of the Bhutanese CBDC drive are to figure out how to integrate and implement a digital engultrum into the nation's current financial infrastructures. With the technology to support CBDCs at both retail and wholesale levels developed, Ripple Lab solutions will make it possible to transition these systems and further the cause of financial inclusion. The International Monetary Fund reports that at least 100 nations are actively investigating or creating CBDC in one way or another. Although each nation has its motivations for creating its digital currency, the need for it to keep up with technological advancements and avoid falling behind could fuel the demand for CBDCs in the upcoming year. Although governments are still debating whether or not to introduce CBDCs, companies like MasterCard and Ripple Labs have already made progress. Is looking for creative ways to supply the connectivity needed for cross-border payments when these CBDCs eventually go online. To be the first to know about new updates, remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Regarding the most recent events concerning XRP During the fourth GOP presidential debate on Wednesday at the University of Alabama, Vivek Ramaswamy, a candidate for president, demonstrated his understanding of the issues that Bitcoin businesses in the U.S. are currently facing. In response to inquiries about his intended plans for the Bitcoin sector should he be elected, Ramaswamy gave his thoughts. The presidential candidate promised to regulate cryptocurrency in a way that would guarantee economic freedom for Americans as part of his campaign platform. But the main question he was asked was if adopting such regulations would also open the door to cryptocurrency fraud and money laundering. Putting Bitcoin in a negative light, host Eliana Johnson asked Vivek Ramaswamy a question that seemed to allude to Binance's recent multi-billion dollar settlement. In response, Vivek Ramaswamy gave reasons for the shortcomings of the current regulatory framework. He informed the audience that people have long been duped by terrorists, criminals, and con artists. Our laws must be updated to reflect contemporary circumstances. The fact that SBF, Sam Bankman Fried, was able to perform at FTX indicates that the existing, regulatory, framework, whatever it may be, isn't effective. U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler was criticized by Ramaswamy for not addressing concerns with the way the current regulatory framework has been implemented. In a recent embarrassing incident, he detailed how Gensler neglected to inform Congress about whether or not Ethereum counts as a regulated security. Such blunders were labeled as just another illustration of the administrative state's collapse by Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek Ramaswamy continued his remarks by pointing out the shortcomings of the current administration because the government is not run by those who were elected to do so. Rather, organizations like the SEC are free to create policies, even ones that Congress hasn't approved. If elected president, Vivek Ramaswamy promised to resolve the disparity and even toned down the notion of placing the U.S. Federal Reserve in its place as part of the crypto discussion. 
Under my administration, we will have a 75% reduction in the number of federal bureaucrats by the end of the first year, he continued. We shall disband government organizations that have no business being there and repeal any laws that Anodos has strategically teamed up with Safe Haven to include the world's first decentralized data backup and inheritance solution, Inherity, and the SHA token into the XRP ledger with congressional authority. Additionally, Anodos has strategically teamed with Safe Haven to incorporate Inherity, the world's first decentralized data backup and inheritance service, and the SHA token into the XRP ledger. The co-founder and CFO of Anodos, Panos Mekras, recently tweeted about the development. A recent press release also revealed the partnership. The statement states that Anodos will issue the SHA IOU on the XRPL, enabling SHA token traders to transact on the native decentralized exchange of the XRP ledger as well as the soon-to-be automated market maker. Furthermore, Anodos revealed that it is now creating an Swap, an all-in-one platform for trading and portfolio management on the XRPL. The Anodos team will list SHA on the platform upon debut, and SHA XRP liquidity we're going to construct a pool to increase the liquidity of the coin. Notably, there will be two stages to the relationship. Anodos will start the first phase of the XRPL network in January 2024 by issuing 10 million SHA tokens. Furthermore, the partnership's second phase will start as soon as the EVM sidechain releases on XRPL. The EVM sidechain will be connected with Safe Haven SafeSwap upon its introduction on XRPL. To put things in perspective, XRPL made significant progress in embracing the EVM sidechain last month when renowned cybersecurity company Bishop Fox finished an audit of the protocol. After successful integration, users can easily construct inherited plans on the XRP ledger by making payments with SHA tokens using their SUM wallet. An advanced security solution for transferring access to digital assets, social media accounts, non-fungible tokens, and digital data is called Inherity. The system, which went live on the VE chain mainnet in September 2020, uses cold storage and blockchain technology along with a three-layer architecture to secure and store user data. The traditional and digital data inheritance marketplaces are connected by Inherity. Anyone can utilize Inherity, regardless of their level of technological expertise. Inherity divides users' confidential data into unreadable, secret, and encrypted shares as soon as they enter it. After that, it divides up the encrypted inheritance data across various cold storage units. To decode the data, the secure key holder must combine the various shares into Inherity. Now, let's get to the main topic of the day which is XRP at $50,000 or Bitcoin at $500,000, which is preferred. Which is better, Bitcoin at $500,000 or XRP at $50,000? Please remember to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. To be the first to learn more about the most recent developments around XRP, Rector started by noting that Bitcoin has just broken through the $40,000 barrier. He emphasized the remarkable ascent of Bitcoin's chart while mentioning the start of the surge on October 16th, which coincided with a fraudulent ETF report. With Bitcoin surpassing $44,000 and XRP at 64 cents, Rector outlined the obstacles and possibilities that both XRP and Bitcoin must overcome to reach their lofty goals. Zach Rector voiced doubt about the possibility that Bitcoin will ever be valued at $500,000 per unit. Specifically, he questioned if Bitcoin's market capitalization could eclipse that of gold. This opinion is based on the idea that, at $500,000, Bitcoin would have a market valuation of over $10 trillion, which is comparable to the market cap of gold. According to the researcher, Bitcoin doesn't have the utility to reach the multi-trillion dollar market cap of gold. He expressed skepticism about Bitcoin acquiring more use in the interim if its network isn't significantly altered. Conversely, he alluded to a more positive prognosis for XRP. The rector specifically mentioned that Bitcoin might approach $500,000, but he doubted it would happen given XRP's chance to hit $50,000. The rector provided strong evidence regarding XRP's growth trajectory to support his assertion. First, he said that a lot of people undervalue XRP's scarcity issue. He emphasized that there might not be enough XRP available for liquidity due to the utility-driven burning process and the various features added to the XRP ledger, XRPL. 
The Richter specifically emphasized the important advancements made to the XRP ecosystem, including the addition of an EVM side chain, NFTs, and automated market makers. He also mentioned the XS55, which aims to provide a range of payment options. The expert also supported XRP's liquidity role in the payment environment. He made a comparison between traditional assets such as gold and this context, stating that the former lacks the intrinsic ability to act as liquidity. According to the director, XRP's contribution to improving liquidity via DLT technology is essential to raising its worth. Although he acknowledges that XRP will need some time to reach $50,000, he thinks that its ability to solve problems, improve functionality, and provide liquidity makes it an important player in the market for digital assets. It's important to note that XRP's rise from $0.65 cents to $50,000 requires a significant percentage increase of more than 7,692,300%. However, from $44,000 to $500,000, the Bitcoin accent would only be 1,136%. Which pricing schedule, in your opinion, is the most desirable and realistic? Now, please share your opinions with me in the comments section. Please make sure you hit the notification bell, subscribe, and like the video. This is quite beneficial. The YouTube algorithm and me. By sharing this video with as many people as you can, you can also aid in enlightening others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Together, let's spread this information. Guys, if you truly love cryptocurrencies, make sure you don't miss any of our stuff. I'll see you tomorrow to discuss the most recent news that affects our community as a whole.